You gotta love Maris Hutter. I mean, great malt. it's just a great malt. I love the flavor, that, that nice bready flavor it gives. Uh, it's floor malted, which means they, they rake it by hand and turn it over while it's going through the germination process. Uh, a little bit more expensive, Yep. but this is a great, great grain. Now, why do you guys want to use it for this beer? Um, for all of those reasons and because we get better extraction, so we get more sugar out of the, the same quantity of grain than, say, with the two row. The more sugar you have, the more alcohol you Yeah, more sugar, more alcohol. I, I, I got that. So we can use a little bit less grain to uh, get the same alcohol content. Uh, that's and true. That mash tun doesn't hold very much. <laughs> what beer are we making today? A really special beer for me. Mm -hmm. It's called Matt, made in honor of two guys who live in Seattle. They run some beer stores up there, restaurants mm -hmm. and bottle shops that teach other people that beer can be maybe something you haven't had before. So let's go start this brew. All right, let's load up some grain. So uh, what malt are you putting in there? We have a British crystal malt. This uh, grain, I think, gives beers that real nice caramel kind of flavor. All right. This is uh, Munich malt. I love Munich malt, so you're just elongating that whole malty base that you put in with the English malt. Some black malt. This is also an English grain. We use this for color and for that little roasty flavor. A little roasty flavor. We also use a peated malt from Scotland. Wow, it smells like a uh, like a peated scotch, like a, an Isle malt. What do you got here? This is uh, a uh, rock malt from oh, Germany. So this is the smoke stuff. And I think that beers that were made a few hundred years ago all would have been a little smoky just because the way the grain was dry. Absolutely. That's nice. So uh, what are you making today? We're doing a 50-54. This is our... Uh, uh, oh, you don't have to tell me about that. <laughs> that is just simply one of my favorite beers. I love dark lagers. You know, I'm a lager lad. Awesome. You know, German background, the whole thing. What are we putting in? Dingemann's uh, black malt and uh, some chocolate malt from Brees. All righty then. Uh, I think a lot of people might not understand that chocolate malt is really the roast, not actually chocolate. Right. You know, the, no, no chocolate was harmed. But it will give you some serious chocolate flavor. Yeah. And, and with the high residual sweetness. Now we're starting with the uh, debittered black, right? Yep. That's nice. It really takes away that almost astringent bitterness that you could get from super roasted dark malt. Right. Once we get this in here, we're gonna start bringing in uh, grain from the various silos. Yep. What grain do you have in those silos? We have pale malt, Munich malt, car uh, caramelized malt. And boom. You guys are making this pretty much all the time, aren't you? Yeah, it's one of our better, our better sellers. That shouldn't be a problem for uh, me to get a taste. Not at all, I have one right here. Oh, <laughs> gentleman and a scholar, sir, a gentleman and a scholar. Mm. Boy, that is great beer. The simple complexity of the dark malts, the hint of sweetness, the way it finishes dry, and the aroma, everything, so wonderful. Mm. You like it, Michael? <laughs> oh, yeah, <baby. laughs> Oh, yeah, I do. Me too. Mm. Just a little bit of black gold right there, buddy. I got to tell you. Yeah, I love it. Nicely done. Nicely done. Thank you.